Fighting is his game, Mitman Joe is his name. I'm here in the studio with world-class striking coach and hand rap specialist, Mitman Joe. So first of all, is this the outfit for Mitman Joe whenever he's in someone's corner? Yes. This it, is what we get. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Actually, it is. This is what I wear. I wear the jacket, mm -hmm. wear the, the pants. This is what it is. And you have a lot of these, like Mitman Joe? Uh... Yeah, I have a few of them, actually. They're, uh, I probably have like three or four of them. Canelo Triple G, big fight happened. Might have been a controversial decision. What are your thoughts on the match? Uh, I think Canelo did what he had to do. He, uh, he won. I have him winning the first one round one through seven, mm -hmm. and I have Triple G winning the last five rounds. So I have uh, Canelo winning the fight. He, he did what he had to do. He uh, put the pressure. He um, landed a lot of combinations. I think Triple G waited too long. And um, so Canelo went in there and he proved the point. He made a statement. After the fight, Oscar De La Hoya wrote a letter that basically clapped back at trolls, clapped back at like the keyboard warriors that are over there, like yeah. typing, you know, all yeah. the smack. And he said that he thought Canelo fought the perfect fight. Do you think that that was really necessary for him to go out there and be like, oh, well, my fighter won, even though he won on the scorecards? Uh, you know, he's a promoter. He's he's uh, taking care of his fighter. He's he's gonna do what he has to do to uh, make his fighter look good and, and uh, back his fighter up. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's just doing his job, you know. So, um, do I think it was wrong? Uh, nah. You know, it's it's the politic part of uh, the fight world. You mm -hmm. know, he's a promoter. He has to uh, uh, talk and he has to say what he has to say about his fighter, hype his fighter up, and, and that's just how it goes. That's the name of the game. So another fighter in your stable of fighters, uh, I saw him yesterday sparring, Joshua Moreno. Let's talk about him a little bit. As well. Oh man, Joshua Moreno is uh, definitely a talented kid. Uh, he's an amateur fighter. He is ranked number 11 in the nation. Um, he is fighting at the USA Boxing National Qualifier in uh, Oct October 7th in Tennessee. Um, he's, he's, he's a good stand-up kid, um, boxes well inside and outside. Um, so I'm excited to see what, what the future has in store for him. Um, in 2015, 2016, I believe, I um, took him to Kansas City where he placed uh, rank number seven in the nation. Um, after that, we went our separate ways and did have him work together in a couple of years. Kept in contact. Um, he recently reached out to me if I could help him get prepared for this fight this tournament October 7th and we started training camp a couple of days ago so I'm excited for him I'm, I'm ready to see what he's gonna do uh, the red rooster that's gonna raise some eyebrows amongst the the fans and the boxing <laughs> community let's talk about the red, red rooster as well Roy Sarabia yeah the red rooster he is definitely something something special you know um, he, he he's one of those other kids that trains hard at the gym when he fights and that bell rings he's on a whole different level you know he, he just he's just worried about what's in front of him you know um, he's actually ranked number one in the whole southwestern United States um, and he's ready he has a, a big fight coming up October 13th in College Station um, I believe it's the main event of the card so um, I'm excited to see what he does you know and after this fight he's an amateur right now but after this fight he will turn pro so I'm excited to see what his pro career has the pro career has in store for him. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.